Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So this is the second part of our NPG virtual classroom tutorial. And in this video, I will teach you how to add your very unique Bitmoji character in your virtual classroom. And after that, we will go ahead and start creating hyperlinks in your virtual classroom. So let's begin. Are you guys ready? So how do we start? Well, we actually need a Bitmoji account. In my case, I have created my Bitmoji account through Snapchat. So basically, if you have a Snapchat, you have a Bitmoji account. And how neat is that? That's going to be just a few steps away from adding your Bitmoji in your virtual classroom. So what if you don't? No worries. You can get your Bitmoji by downloading the, the Bitmoji app and you can either use the App Store or Google Play. So don't frown because the app is available for everybody. Once you have downloaded, create an account and dress up your Bitmoji. Have fun creating and making your Bitmoji that looks exactly like you. So go ahead, pause this video and download your Bitmoji. Now that you have created your Bitmoji account, the next thing we will do is to go to the uh, Chrome Web Store and look for the Bitmoji extension. So here's the Chrome Web Store. Go ahead and type in Bitmoji. There's Bitmoji. Add to Chrome. So before you can use your Bitmoji, you will have to log into your Bitmoji account or your Snapchat account. So go ahead and log into your Snapchat account. Once you're logged in, you will be able to access all of your Bitmoji characters. Go ahead and look for your Bitmoji that will fit nicely in your classroom. Okay. I think this Bitmoji fits nicely in my classroom. So what I'm going to do is eliminate or Crop the hearts. But I want my Bitmoji to be facing the left side. So what I'm going to do is click on my Bitmoji, select rotate and flip horizontally. And then I'm going to drag my Bitmoji close to the couch. And there you go. Now we have our Bitmoji in our virtual classroom. Nice, I think that's perfect. So the next thing is I'm gonna copy this text box because we still have to put four more topics on the board. So click the text box. Control C is the shortcut for a copy and Control V is paste. Move this text box and I will try to uh, Make sure that the texts are aligned. So then I'll start typing in. So now we have all our topics. We are now ready to uh, add hyperlinks to these texts. But before we add hyperlinks to these texts, I want to modify the books in my bookshelf. So I want to put here two of my favorite book for environmental science that I assigned to my students. So I want to fit in those two books right here. So I need a little bit of space. So what I'm going to do is crop these books on the top. I'm just going to remove one book. There you go. And then move it to the left. I'm ready to add the books, the two additional books. Now, but prior to uh, this, uh, um, video tutorial I actually looked for a picture of those books and made them into a book mock-up so here you go let me insert the uh, book images one of those book is written by uh, Rachel Carson By the way, don't forget to crop those extra space because that will cover text that you put on your site. So 
Oops. There you go. I have already added two of my favorite books in my bookshelf. The next thing we will do is to add hyperlinks to the text that we put on the board. And also, we, will, we can create hyperlinks to uh, book reviews about uh, the books that I place in my bookshelf. So how are we going to do that? Let's begin with the uh, hyperlinks to the books. So how do we add hyperlinks to the books? The so first thing is to click on the book. Okay. I'm going to click on insert and we're going to click on link. So I will place a link here that will lead to the book review. Um, I already act, actually, I've already opened those book reviews that I found online. So this is the first book review. This is a book review about uh, for, for the book, um, the sixth extension. So I'm going to copy this URL and then I will paste it to the book link. Click on, hit on apply. And now we're going to do also a hyperlink for the book Silent Spring. So same process. We're going to click on insert, click on link. And here's the book review that I found about Silent Spring. I'm going to copy that URL and paste that on the uh, book hyperlink. Hit on Apply. And now it's ready. Let's see and let's check if it's going to work. So I'm going to hit on Present and see if we, if we click on the book, it will go to the site that I linked to it. And as you can see, it's actually, we were successful in linking it because you see the hand right there. That means there's already um, a website linked to this object, or in this case, the book. So let's click on it. There you go. Now it is time to create hyperlinks to the environmental science units or topics that we place on the board. What you would want to do is to create separate pages to these topics. So we will add slides and each slide will be assigned to each topic. To make it easier for us, what I'm going to do is copy our main page and then I will just edit it. Since I don't know yet what I'm going to put on each slide, what I'm going to do is copy the main page and edit it from there. So let's go ahead and copy the main page. We'll paste it. I'm going to eliminate some of the aspects or some of the objects on this main page. I don't want to use the same Bitmoji for all of my slides. So I'm going to do is I will remove my Bitmoji and later on I will replace that with a different Bitmoji. Okay. Then I'll make uh, several copies of this second page. All right, we now have 10 pages on our uh, Google Slides. So the second slide is going to be the, uh, the slide for the first topic, which is ecosystem. The third slide will be uh, the slide for biodiversity and so on. So let's go ahead and create a hyperlink on our main page for the second slide. So again, the second slide will, will be for ecosystem. I'm going to highlight the word ecosystem. And I'm going to click on insert link. Now, in, this time, instead of a, of a website or a, or a URL, I will link it to uh, the slides in the presentation. And this is going to be slide number two. There you go. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the next topic. Highlight the word biodiversity. Click on link. And we will link it to slide number three. Keep going. This is 
going to be slide number six. Slide number nine. And slide number 10. Now, the next thing is I want to recolor uh, the, the text that I put on the board. I'm going to change it back to a light blue color. There you go. Now, let's see if it's going to work. Now, since all of our slides are the same, I'm just going to uh, temporarily uh, put a topic on the board so we know that we are going to specific slides. So again, the first one is about ecosystems. I'm going to name this slide ecosystems. The second one is about biodiversity. So let's name it biodiversity. Now let's go back to the main page and see if it's going to work. I'm going to hit on present again and see if our links are working. I'm going to click on the first one, ecosystems. See, we went to uh, the second page. And how did we know that we, uh, we get to the second page? Because remember, we put a title on this page, ecosystems. In the Remember that we can change aspects of these slides. We can change the background. We can remove the couch, replace it with something else. We can uh, replace the shelf as well or keep that, remove the plants, add uh, uh, other items in our, in our slide depending on the, on the topic. So ecosystem, probably I'll put here um, a background of uh, nature or a nature background. Now that we know that we are successful in creating hyperlinks to our um, unit topics, the only thing left is for us to create a go back home button for each of the page. So I'm, go I'm gonna go to uh, slide number two and I will insert an image that will represent my homepage button. So this will represent my home page button and make it smaller and I will place it on one corner. Then I will click on the image and link it to the main page, which is in this case, slide number one. Click apply and let's see if it's going to work. So there's our home page button. Let's try clicking it. There you go. It went back to the main page. Let's click on ecosystem again. Now we're on second page, which is the ecosystems page. Now what I'm going to do is copy this home button and paste it to all of the slides. So now that we have links, a uh, few items in our main page, the next thing to do is to uh, edit our pages. So by the way, feel free to add more links to your home page. You can link your, uh, like the poster on, on the wall. You can create links on this books and add other items in your home page. In our next video tutorial, I will teach you the different aspects that you can add in your virtual classroom. And so I will see you next time.